and welcome back to my channel is Darian this is Darian the dev and in this video we're gonna go over a quick tip calculator JavaScript project and this one guys is gonna be a simple tip calculator um, the link to the HTML and the CSS is gonna be down in the description below on my github page so make sure you guys go ahead and either copy and paste that into your code editor or actually just uh, clone the project and open it up in your editor. Take out the JavaScript and we'll just go over that together, all right? So here's the HTML, nothing crazy. Uh, literally just have a form. We're gonna ask the user, how much was your bill? They're gonna put in a number here. All right, so when you first when you first get into this project and you guys grab it, if you go ahead and open this up in the browser, um, the index uh, HTML, you guys might have to change the you have to change the file path for the CSS and I'll show you guys that in a second. But this is how it's gonna look once you change the file path for the CSS and open it up in your browser. This is where the inspiration came from and this is how mine's gonna look. Uh, and so when you type things in here right now and hit calculate, nothing's gonna happen because we don't have any JavaScript hooked into it. So right now we're gonna jump over into Visual Studio Code and we're gonna make that happen. At the bottom of the uh, HTML page, the index HTML page, at the end of the last div, we're gonna make a new script tag and we're gonna write our JavaScript in here. So the first thing we're gonna to wanna to do is we're gonna create a, um, a variable or a constant called the bill amount and we're gonna set it equal to, um, we're gonna set it equal to what the person is typing into the input field for the bill amount. So we're gonna use a method called parse int and we're gonna say document.getElementById. And the ID we want, if we scroll up here, is going to be called amount because this is where the person is putting in the bill amount. So we're gonna say get element by ID in quotes amount. And then we're gonna say dot value because we want the text, or I'm sorry, the number value of what the person is typing into that input field. So now we're gonna create another constant for the number of people so that we can actually tell them how much each person should be contributing to the tip. And for that, we're gonna say document.getElementById. And if we go up and look at what this is called, it's just called people. So that's where they're entering the number of people. So we'll go inside of here in quotes and we'll say people. And there we'll say dot value as well. And we'll need one more constant for service because we're gonna ask them uh, how was their service. And we're gonna say document.getElementById. Whoops. And we're gonna say service because if I can spell service. Uh, and we wanna say dot value there as well because up here we call this div service where they're gonna select one of these four options. So we're gonna get the value of what they choose there. Then we're gonna to wanna to create uh, one more variable and we're gonna say we're gonna say 10% of bill to keep the the names like really obvious. So we're right here we're gonna calculate the 10%. Um, we're just keeping this very simple in this project. You guys are can you can tweak this uh, as much as you want for different like types of bill calculations or different uh, gratuities and stuff like that, but I'm just doing 10% to keep it simple. So create a constant for 10% uh, of the bill, and then we're gonna say, take the bill amount, and you're gonna multiply that by 0 0.1 or by 10%. All right, so that's what uh, that's how we're gonna calculate what the tip is gonna be. And then we're gonna say, we're gonna create another constant for the tip total. And we're gonna wanna say, we're gonna want uh, the 10% of the bill divided by two plus 10% of the bill. Next thing we're gonna wanna do is uh, we're gonna find out how much each person should be paying. So we're just gonna say, take the tip total and divide it by the number of, ah, number of people and that should tell us how much each person is going to owe. The way we're gonna print this back out to the screen is we're just gonna use an alert, guys, to keep this a super simple tutorial. 
Um, so it's gonna pop up just a little box and it's gonna tell us the information that we are expecting. And we're just gonna say your suggested tip amount is space plus per person plus, then we're actually gonna say per person. So it's gonna give us the dollar amount that each individual person should be paying. And then we'll say plus your service feedback was space. And then we'll say plus service. And then we'll say plus a period, put a semicolon, and we should be all good to go. Bring some space up right there, hit save. Oh. Document. All right guys, so when you go back to your page, you refresh, let's try this one more time. We'll say our bill was $100. We'll say our service was good. And we'll say we have four people sharing our bill. And if we hit calculate, so your, your suggested tip amount is $3.75 per person. Your service feedback was good. So yeah, guys, that is pretty much it. You're learning a lot more from these small projects than you guys think. And you can always customize the features of what this application does or repurpose this code to do something that you guys think is cool. So again, um, link to my GitHub down below in the description section if you guys wanna uh, you know, use some of this code to spin up the project. But if this is helpful, if you guys like this content, please let me know down in the comment section below, guys. I really appreciate it. Leave me some uh, likes and share and subscribe for sure. It helps me just stay motivated to keep making videos for you guys. This is Darian with Darian the Dev. I'll see you guys in the next video, all right? Peace.